Hello, my name is Christopher Dawes, and I want to talk to you today about the custom email service transport that has been published to the DeveloperWorks Wiki. Now, Forms Experience Builder allows you to send an email to a user during as an activity of a submit. And what we've done is we've provided a way of sending an email that can be triggered on any event. So let me tell you where you can find this, the, the files for this. So in DeveloperWorks, the, the Forms Experience Builder community, under Extending Feb, I've posted quite a lot of examples. And one of the examples here is the Custom Transport Send Email. On this page, there's not a lot of instruction. But uh, it does tell you where to deploy the files. There's a jar file and there's a properties file as, where, as well as an XML file. So those get deployed to your server. But then once that's deployed to your server, now there is a service that your FEB applications can use. And let me show you what that looks like. I actually have a sample application here, so let's take a look at it. And if we flip over to the settings tab and under services, we can see the services that I've already created. But let me uh, click the add service and I'll flip it to general. And in here, if I do a search for email, we're going to see the send email service. Now, the send email service is exactly those files that you can download from DeveloperWorks. So let's take a look at how this works. Uh, what I've done in my form here is I've created a to field, I've created a table to allow multiple emails, a subject line, and then a choice for the user to either select plain text or HTML. If you select plain text, then I use a rule to show this send plain text email button and let's take a look at what it does. So when I click the button, it's going to call a service. Let's have a look and see what this service does. The service inputs, you can see there's a to field, a subject line, and text content. And so what I've done is I've mapped the fields of my form to the fields of the service. And in the output, there it just returns a result, whether or not the email was sent successfully. And that's really all there is to using this service. You need to deploy the artifacts to your server, and then when you go to create a service in the service configuration panel, you can select the service and then bind the inputs from your form to the inputs of the service. Something to note here is that you can supply multiple email addresses. So here I've got my table on my form linked to the multiple email address list uh, here in the, in the service. Um, and note that the text content is a different parameter than HTML content. If you specify both HTML and text, then the HTML content takes precedence. And you can see that here in the comments uh, for that parameter. So in my implementation here, this is just a sample, but I, I've implemented both so that you can see what happens if I send a plain text email or what happens if I send an HTML email. And in here, you can we can take a look at the service that I'm calling here. Same send email service. I've linked the two fields, the subject line, the HTML content from my form to the HTML content of the service, and then also the multi email addresses uh, from the table to this list. So when I preview my form, I can put in an email address. I can specify the subject line and send email and click the send HTML email and you can see that the email was sent correctly. And if I check my email, uh, I can actually see that I did receive the email um, that was sent from Forms Experience Builder. So I, I hope that one, you find this custom transport very helpful. And once again, you can find it in the DeveloperWorks Wiki off of the Extending Feb page. And the link is here. And um, 
Also, I hope that this video has been helpful uh, in teaching you how to actually use the service. If you do have any questions or concerns, please post to the forum or to, uh, a comment on the page directly, and we can address it. Thank you very much for your time.